It's been a long time since I've done a video of a television set, probably over three years. And it's been a long time since I went to an estate sale, well over a year. But uh, there was an estate sale this morning as things are starting to open back up more. And hopefully there'll be more estate sales where I can get some old vintage stuff. And I picked up this old Panasonic 5-inch black and white television. So let's unbox it here and see what we have. There's actually a couple items interesting on the box itself. This is a was sold to Airway and Airway was a local kind of budget chain locally until I don't know sometime in the 80s or 90s. And let's see about $150. So the box is ratty but the fact that it has a box at all is kind of interesting. Came with several things. Came with a uh, car charger, car adapter, 12 volt. Good to have, I guess, for back in the day. Standard. Panasonic issued earphone and this is very important this is for their antenna adapter and I have something like this I've used on all my other little televisions with this type of antenna connector but mine wouldn't work I had all kinds of trouble I just flat out wouldn't work I ended up using theirs and uh, it worked so we'll take a look at that when we watch the television and we have our Main power. Our AC adapter. Five watts. Tip positive for Matsushita. And operating instructions etc looks like that's the little bag for the earphone in there Panasonic service of your television set for safety operation of your television set for your personal safety if the set does not operate properly snap pop contact an authorized service representative Dry battery operating, hints for portable television receivers. Important safeguards. Don't get electrocuted. Standard fare. And our operating instructions, black and white television. Our location of controls. This is the TR5040P. Front and rear views. How to install the batteries. Rechargeable battery installation. Operating time on batteries. 12 hours for alkaline batteries. Three and a half hours for a TY371. And more safety antennas, built in antenna.
various other things here. Troubleshooting. Indoor antenna connections, brightness, tuning procedures, etc. Our car battery cord information. Of course, we won't be using any of this stuff really today. We'll put it on channel 3 and watch some television over a digital to analog converter box. All right, let's center the television here and talk about it. All right, five inch black and white screen. There's a little prop up there to help you get a better angle. We have a UHF scale across the top, VHF scale, Panasonic AC DC or battery. Select VHF, UHF, on, off, and volume. We've got a carrying handle at the top and our original antenna. All in good spot. We have an earphone jack. Um, we have, I think it was five different screws to get the top off. We'll take a look inside. Here on the back of some of our pertinence. Contrast, brightness, vertical hold, horizontal hold, and height. Our connection here. Power connection. Chassis family. Uh, January 1981. And our antenna locations for that little adapter. Okay, R, F, A, G, C, our tuning dial. Looking underneath where the battery compartment is. Oops, slides open. And there's two little cylindrical things there to hold your batteries in place. diagram of how to put the batteries in. It's pretty clean in here. I doubt that this was ever used with batteries. The rechargeable battery was optional kit. Okay. And that's kind of about it for the physical tour. All right, with the power cord plugged in, I don't have it hooked up to any signal source here. And you're going to get the, all the blanking and everything. But it's a nice bright screen actually. Very bright. And audio is very loud if required. So when I got it, I had to do some maintenance on it. Uh, there's a couple of things here that were broken and falling off and I had to try and glue those back on. And of course I wanted to test it with a signal source. So I tried that. So let's take a look at the uh, television quality and the insides, etc. Okay. I took out five Phillips screws from the casing here to get inside. Looks like that's a date code there, but I'm not sure how to read it. Those little embossed things. There's our speaker and our earphone jack connections. And uh, everything else. All of our tuners. All the necessary components, our CRT, chassis family, and serial number.
pots of various sorts, capacitors. Everything needed for a five inch black and white television picture in 1981. It's really not too dirty in there. The whole set wasn't too bad. There's the other side of that board. I had to do some maintenance to keep this from falling off this plate and I noticed uh, and there's another little piece right here that falls off and when it's totally off I notice there's a second what could be visible here dial or uh, indicator and it's not visible when this is on but when it's off it is so I suspect there was some other version of this unit that probably had a radio on it. And there was a radio scale there on that model. I don't know what model that would have been, though. Well, my normal connection from the DTA box to these little type of jack input antennas on radios isn't working. So, I guess I will try the one they included in the box. Well, that apparently was it. It just didn't like my connector. Um, I don't know why. I'm not getting a good signal, of course. I watched and I was like, I need to listen to everything this woman says. Give me more premium quality, huge selection of colors. Wraps it long, back into the arms of Aldrich, who seems fine. We heard him cry out. In My picture's better than what you're going to say. Chasing this ball now, and he got up there first. It's more bright. It doesn't have all the moray lines in it. Using Pyro is like their secret weapon to get ready for the beach. I woke up one more. No, I thought that was. And investing in neighborhoods and communities nationwide. Two sides of the coin now. Larissa want to play the physical game plan. Join the ball. There's a lab test on your own schedule from our large selection of waterproof floors. So it was just that it wanted to use its own connector, not the one I've always used for other things. Make Big Dog Flooring your one stop flooring store. Big Dog. Just that uh, it wanted to use its own connector. I'm using a an old RCA DTA box and antenna. So there's our menu.
Get rid of that. There's our info. So, my picture's better than yours that you see, I'm sure. But it works. 1981, 40 years old. And with enough electronics and fiddling around, it works. It looks like my glue is holding there. So, after some false starts with my old connector, the new one works. Let's take a look at that connector and see what's special about it. In case anybody needs to see what they need to buy. I don't know, mine's 300 ohm to 75 ohm too. But it certainly didn't work. There you go, if you need one, that's what you want. Okay, well, trials are over. Well, from 1981, that's been the Panasonic 5040P 5-inch black and white television with three-way power. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Nice for a $3 purchase, and uh, hopefully with things opening back up now, there'll be more estate sales and... I can get more vintage equipment. Bye.